Hello and good morning again. So now we are moving forward to uh, revising this USML step on 2021 microbiology. We were on pre previously page 140. We are on page 148 and we are continuing the on page 148. About now we will be. We have previously talked in detail about this syphilis that was the organism Trypanopalidium causing us the uh, syphilis and that has the different stages of syphilis. But the treatment was very easy. The diagnosis has main catch to identify and treat the patient in the practical life as well. Now moving forward to the Gardenella vaginalis which is a, one of the important bacteria that is uh, causing you the bacterial vaginosis. So the name you can remember Gardenella vaginalis. So this Gardenella vaginalis can cause you the infection that is known as the bacterial vaginosis. So what is bacterial vaginosis? This is just a, a this is the overgrowth of your bacteria of this Gardenella vaginalis in your uh, vagina in the female genital tract and then they develop the certain symptoms. That symptoms may be a discharge that is the grease discharge leads to the fishy smell odor and that can when you identify when you pick up a cell then you see the bacteria the epithelial cell normal vaginal cell has been has been converted into this clue cell. The clue cell, what is clue cell? This is the normal epithelial cell that has the overgrowth of the bacteria. And since there is an overgrowth of the bacteria in that epithelial cell, then it's appear as a clue cell because there is a stipple appearance. If you do a painting in a stipple, the dotted appearance that leads to the clue-like appearance. So it is a stipple cell, you can say. Let's go through the uh, our uh, text then we'll go to the some of the images from the images and then we'll discuss in the same way so what is gardenella vaginalis it is a pleomorphic gram variable rod involved in the bacterial vaginosis which we have discussed present as a grace vaginal discharge so in comparison to other vaginitis like there may be candidial there may be trichomonas okay so that's that vaginitis the infectious one there will be different discharge like this has the gray discharge you know if you are talking about the candida that will whitish discharge okay so we'll discuss about that this is present as a gray vaginal discharge with a fishy smell and that is the characteristic catch point so there will be gray discharge with a fishy smell so you have to understand they are talking about this garden of vaginalish and non-painful versus vaginitis so if a patient has a vaginitis there will be the other painful they can there will be a painful but it thus will present a grace painless discharge grace vaginal discharge with a fishy smell and this fishy smell actually can be increased by a test known as the amine wife test mixing discharge with 10 percent qs enhance the fishy order so if you want to diagnose this, you can take the discharge, put the 10% KOH and the fishy order will be more enhanced, it will be more increased, then your diagnosis will be confirmed. Although you can do also uh, see about this clue cell appearance under the microscope, that will also help you to diagnose the disease. So it is very simple. There will be a, a female presenting as a non-feeble, non-painful vaginal discharge, that is grayish discharge with a fishy smell. So you will complain there is some fishy smell. And you can do the test by amine with, with test where you, you add the QS and the fishy smell will be enhanced. They are associated with the sexual activity but not sexually transmitted disease. This is not one of the form of STD. This is not a sexual transmitted disease but has found that during sexual relationship they found this disease has been increased. I mean, they contribute for the disease but they are not sexually, they are not sexually transmitted that we have to understand. Now talking about the bacterial vaginosis is also characterized by the overgrowth of the certain anaerobic bacteria in the vagina due to decreased lactobacilli. So you know lactobacilli is a part of your normal vagina that helps in to decrease the maintain the low pH at, in your vagina so that no other bacteria grows and in this way you don't develop any disease. Due to the low pH there any other bacteria will not able to grow. And why low pH is maintained? Because of this lactobacilli. This produces the lactic acid and there is continuous low pH in your uh, vagina. And because of that, there will be no growth of other bacteria. But if any means this lactobacilli has been decreased, means the pH has been come to towards the neutral, then other bacteria will allow to grow. And in this situation, this Cardinal vaginalis, which is actually a normal part of your flora, but this is the balance. There will increase overgrowth of this garden vaginalis. And since there is increased overgrowth, now you will develop this 
vaginosis, bacterial vaginosis, and there will be the grayish, painless, fishy odor discharged from a female genital tract. This is a clue cell. What is clue cell? Clue cell is a vaginal epithelial cell covered with a gardenella. This is simply you have epithelial cell in your vagina. If you take it out, it will be a normal appearance, but when you will have a vaginal gardenella vaginalis infection or say bacterial vaginosis, this bacteria, tons of bacteria will be present in one epithelial cell. So it will appear as a they have a stipple appearance along the outer margin. So if there is a stipple appearance due to the presence of the bacteria, so that get, that cell is called a closed cell. Let me show what is a stipple. Actually, a stipple, if you talk about the stipple, stipple in a drawing painting or engraving mark with a numerous dot or speck. So this is a produce a decorative effect paint on the material by roughing its surface when it is wet. This is just a dotted paint, so you can say. So there will be a you can see over here there are the this is the bacteria in the epithelial cell and there will be the tons of dotted 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 appearance which is called the stipple cell okay so uh, you can see over here also um the clue cell okay so see the over here if you are seeing or not we are talking about this clue cell and in clue cell the bacteria actually you can see over here this clue cell that is the tons of this is the normal epithelial cell but this has a dotted appearance and this all are this your gardenella vaginalis bacteria let me show you once more this is the normal epithelial cell this epithelial cell is just have a one nucleus and few bacteria that is a normal bacteria but same epithelial cell you see the margin the same epithelial cell if the same epithelial cell if if you can say i have uh, same epithelial cell will be there will be many bacteria are present over there then it will appear inside a dotted and that rough dotted cell and this all dots are due to, due to bacteria that is gardenia vaginalis and that is called the clue cell okay so we have talked about this uh, you can see over the clue cell over here this is the source of the this picture gram variable coco bacilli in the gardenia vaginalis cool clue cell normal epithelial cell is clean they have few bacteria but this, there shouldn't be any bacteria they have one nucleus this is a clean epithelial cell but when you have a this all bacteria overgrowth in a epithelial cell it will appear as a dotted appearance uh, all about this epithelial cell and this is called the clue cell so we have understood about this is triple you have mm, let's talk about this vaginitis actually vaginitis can be due to infectious one and non-infectious one in infectious one there will be this bacterial vaginosis, vulvovaginal candidiasis and trichomoniasis whereas non-infectious can be atropic rhinitis, allergic rhinitis, foreign body, chemical irritation, discoaminitic vaginitis and lichen planus. We are talking about this vaginitis is one of bacterial vaginosis one of a infectious component of your vaginitis but this bacterial vaginosis which is caused by gardenella will be non-painful in comparison to other. So now Look, from here, bacterial vaginosis type of vaginal inflammation caused by overgrowth of the natural uh, bacteria natural found in the vagina which offset the natural balance. Women in the reproductive years are most likely to get bacterial vaginosis, but it can affect women of any age. What are bacterial vaginosis? This is a result of imbalance between good and harmful bacteria in the vagina. Dousing, not using condoms, having a new or multiple sexual partner can upset the normal balance of vaginal bacteria, increase risks of getting bacterial vaginosis. Here we can see that what the symptoms is use why bacterial vaginosis can occur. This can occurs due to the risk factors are using intrauterine device, smoking, sexual intercourse, bathing with the uh, perform medical soaps, taking taking so taking a bubble bath dousing using vaginal deodorant adding antiseptic liquids to the bath washing your underwear with a strong detergent so there are a lot of risk factor if you comes to the symptoms you can see the symptoms can be like there will be the thin or thin grayish white or greenish dis vaginal discharge mainly gray grayish discharge will be there there will be the peculiar consistency with the, of vaginal fluid fishy smell odor vaginal itching and burning during excretion may be present as a whole this is the picture that is important to understand this is the normal vaginal epithelial cell when lactobacillal bacteria are there few but this is intermediate stage but when you develop the bacterial vaginosis when you develop this bacterial vaginosis 
then this garden life as you can see the bacteria has been overgrowth so this this is present over there there is the bacterial overgrowth has been seen and this is actually important so you can see all the bacterial has been grown let me come over here and this all bacterial growth leads to the dotted appearance and this leads to a closure so this there was a picture you can see this is the same picture you see the bacterial overgrowth over there this is a normal lactobacilli this is the vaginal epithelial cell lactobacillus there is no but when the bacteria grows multiple bacteria grows on a cell that is called a clue cell and it gives the stipple appearance this is the different <coughs> picture where you here see this is the uh, discharge, fishy order discharge, grace discharge, fishy order discharge due to garden life vaginalis. There are the other form of vaginalis, like they can be a yeast cell, they, do, they will be the yeast will be grown, white is cottage discharge, and that is uh, this is bacterial, this is yeast, the fungal infection. This is bacterial due to garden life vaginalis. There can be due to this uh, trichomonas, and that is also be there will be the green greenish gray cervical discharge so this is the parasite this is a bacteria and this is the fungal so fungal cody whitey discharge bacterial cardinal vaginalis gray discharge if you talk about the parasite this trichomonas then there will be the greenish gray cervical discharge so you can see there is a three different form of your vaginosis back vaginitis among that bacterial vaginosis is gray discharge if you talk about fungal that is a whitish cardi discharge what if we talk about the parasite it will be the greenish gray cervical discharge microscopy view of your organism different this is garnella vaginalis this is your candida and this is trichomonas same picture you have seen over here what is the difference between bacterial and yeast infection this will be the thin gray white vaginal discharge this will be a thick white cardi cottage cheese vaginal discharge you see the cottage cheese like appearance this is a fishy order the fungal will be orderless underlying will be overgrowth of the bacteria that is due to the fungal infection risk factor of the sexual is in the bacterial vaginosis yes sometimes the treatment is you give this metronidazole or clindamycin and here you can give otc vaginal creams mainly antifungal so gardenal vaginalis is a bacteria that coexist alongside the other bacteria in your vagina to keep infection free when too much of garden life bacteria grows you can develop an infection called bacterial vaginosis bacterial vaginosis is the most common vaginal infection and can easily treat with the antibiotics you can see the clue shell over here bacterial garden life vaginalis this normal epithelial cell is appears as a clear but when there is overgrowth of the bacteria this is called the clue shell Again, gardenia vaginosis bacteria that naturally grow in the genital tract. One of the trillion microorganisms that make of your general genital flora balance bacterial mix around the genitalia. Warts of infection, overgrowth of gardenia vaginosis can lead to bacterial vaginosis. We have talked about this clue shell. Okay, so this is clue shell, and clue shell is important. The picture can be given to you, and you have to understand the picture and then answer your question. So let me revise concise it again this is the gram pleomorphic gram variable rod involving in the bacterial vaginosis present at a gray discharge fishy smell non-painful associated with the sexual activity but not a std bacterial vaginosis is characterized by overgrowth of a certain anaerobic bacteria in the vagina due to this decrease uh, <coughs> lactobacilli so their ph has been come up clue cell is important you have to understand this clue cell this clue cell is a Vaginal epithelial cell covered with the, this cardinal bacteria and has a stipple appearance along the outer margin. How can we diagnose this? One feature is clue cell can be diagnostic. The easy way is just you take the discharge, fishy smell discharge, air 10%, this 10%, 10% QH that will enhance this fishy order. So this is called amine whiff test. Vaginal pH if you measure, it will has been come out, come above because lactobacilli is not there as decreased and this therefore ps has come above for then 4.5 treatment is simple give metronidazole or clindamycin and your infection will be cured clue shell qs amine wife test will be a way to diagnose simple is simply the <coughs> symptoms are white dis grace discharge and fishy smell discharge hope you have understand this and we will uh, again meet in the next lecture thank you